Hello there boys and girls, welcome to Scottish Geeks. Today we're going to be playing a game called Umbra. Now Umbra is still in its uh, prototype stage, so this is definitely not what the, the entire finished game is going to look like. There might be bugs, there might be this and that. Uh, basically, I was sent this game by the developer's PR guy, uh, PR Hound. And um, basically I just, they just want me to take a look at it, see what I think of it, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, the game is on Kickstarter at the moment, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to support them in getting this game made. But you know what, let's take a quick look at it first and see what it looks like. So we're in normal mode here, I'm not changing any of the other settings, and it's on the GTC prototype level. So let's load the game up and see what happens. Um, already, I mean, I've seen some of the images from it, and it looks pretty damn good from what I've seen. Now, I don't know if the images sort of will display what's actually in the game at the moment, but for... The purposes of uh, this video that's what we're going to find out if the game is actually going to be any good this lowadding screen is taking longer than it should so after a lengthy lowadding section we are now in the game so uh from what i can tell it's very very sort of it kind of looks like diablo but wow it looks so much cool oh my god we can actually get to that section right already loving it Look, we can get really close to our character. Uh, right click is our shield. And I wonder if we can move around. Let's see what we've got. We've got inventory. Yeah, we've got some armor and stuff. We've got a cool weapon. We can use a mace. A harvester. A harvester. It's a hammer. Uh, we've got some shields and stuff like that. Uh, we've got all our armor here. So, yeah, let's bring that down. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit and get it back to... Uh, top down view so we can have top down view or sort of a pseudo third person view so let's take a little look around see what we can find see if there's any enemies we can kill or even you know things we can destroy it's gonna be something but yeah granted the game looks pretty ah there's people here what's this over here what are you what are you what do you do okay let's talk to this guy here start bounty so we can actually go and um, check out some new place. Oh, we're back. Okay, sorry. Yes. Love a jump cut there. Sorry, that's two jump cuts, but the jump cuts are basically just to get rid of the, the loading sequences. Like I said, though, the game has a prototype. And look at this. Wow. I'm actually going to zoom in again and have a, a little look around. So, yeah. It kind of gives me a dark... I wonder. Can you control... Can you control with anything? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, now, I've got an MMO mouse, so I wonder... Let's see... Uh, we've got one, two, three, and four. So yeah, that should work. Walking through the tunnels, there's a big glowy particle thing which keeps breaking through that and making it go away. Anyway, yes, continuing on. I can tell already there's there is some uh, fine tuning to get done on some of the textures there because they sort of they're not appearing straight away, but Dear God, it's lovely. It really is. Mind you, they could be meant to do that. So, oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Smack, 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 smack. Smack. Okay. A um, little bit of a sound problem there, but... Wow, there's a lot of zombies to kill here. Are they zombies? I don't know. I wonder if they're going to have actual titles. Ooh, I like that, by the way. I do like that. I wonder if I press... Yeah, I don't know if that did, actually did anything. Oh, there's a big bastard over there! I kinda want, I don't, I kinda don't want to... I kinda don't want to um, engage this guy. Oh, do you know what? No! Don't you dare kill me! Don't you kill me! No! Okay, I think we should probably run away from this guy just now. I don't think we're at a high enough level as of yet to... Oh god, he's on fire! Oh god, yeah. Okay, wow, that is a lot of blood. There's a lot going on in this game. I'm on fire now. Fantastic. I like being on fire. I don't really like being on fire. I just want to kill this guy here. Can I kill him? Oh, got a level up thing. Level up. Okay, I leveled up. I don't know why. I don't know what happened there. I don't think the leveling up section is um, implemented yet. But this guy is gonna die. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. I wonder if I can just hold the button. I can't just hold the button. Gravy. Let's zoom in a little bit and have a look at the guy. 
He's trying to destroy me utterly. Okay, that does nothing. I don't know what that does. That does something? I don't know. I don't know. I would probably need to entirely look at the instructions of the game. But you know me, I don't like to go into a game knowing exactly what I'm doing. I like to go in and just enjoy myself. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just enjoying myself. I'm just hacking this guy. Two pieces. What the hell is the gloomy thing over there? That's something to do with something. I don't know, but he's going down. Oh, he's gone down. He's down. A cryptic sword. Okay, can I pick up the sword? I don't know how to pick up the sword. Uh, did I get the loot? I don't know. Did I get anything there? What's this? Okay, I picked that up. Uh, I picked that up now. Oh, okay, maybe I'm just going to kill these guys first. Right. Uh, shoulder armor right. Okay, got it. Uh, uh, come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Do you know what? Like, let's have a look at the, in the inventory. Oh, I did pick it up. A cryptic sword. 27.8... 28 point, ah yes. Let's uh, drag this on here. Okay, and um, yeah, the I don't know what that's going to do, if anything. Let's, let's try the gothic left armor. Okay, and the helmet. Okay, so we've got everything on there. Oh, oh, that's a nice sword. Oh, I like that. Let's pick everything up. I wonder if we could sell all the stuff back at the village. It kind of reminds me of Diablo slightly. A little bit of torchlight um, thrown in there. But in itself is its own game, so... You know... Ooh, just take them down, man. Take them down. Take down those little bastards. Here we go. So it's not too bad. It's not too shabby so far. I've got a flask of health and a harvester over there. I seem to be... I don't know... Giving off some sort of um, eldritch glow here. So I wonder what the bounty is. Do I just have to kill all these bastards here? And will I get some level ups? Who knows? Who could say? We just need to get a better sword and stuff like that. I actually, I actually really like games like this. Um, I don't know why. I just, I just tend to enjoy the sort of adventuring aspect of it, and the fact that the the character's nameless and I'm stuck. I'm stuck on something. What the hell am I? I'm stuck on something. I don't know. I'm going to stop this game for just now. As I said, this is just a quick look at it. And, um, yeah. Prototype um, is pretty decent. Graphically, it looks really good. Um, a few niggly bits here and there, but nothing too major. Getting against a, boss, a, a guy that level, I assume it's a boss. And being able to beat him already was quite satisfying. Um, I like the fact you can put it into a sort of a third-person view. The <laughs> look how he's holding the sword. That's uh yeah, that's fantastic. Let's kill that guy over there. He's stuck in the rocks. He's dead now. I don't know why we're stuck. We're stuck for some reason or other. But yeah, no, I really like that idea of uh, being able to change the view to this view all the way down to the third-person view. Uh, that was a lot of things that people used to complain about, but games like Diablo and stuff like that, was you didn't have a choice of your view type. Even even if they implemented a first-person view into this, this would be great as well. Um, you know, just to give it a sense of you could play it as a Diablo-style game. You could. I keep saying Diablo, I don't mean to. It's just the only reference I have to a game like this. Or you could play it as a top-down view. Uh, you could play it as a third-person view, and if they implemented it, you could play as a first person view and even as he's just standing there idle things are actually happening in the background there's a weird magic coming up from that little grating there there's a lot of rocks falling down to the ground from the the cliff face over there and uh, i don't know why i'm stuck but i am it's just one of those things i wonder if i can if i could teleport i can teleport nice and i can move again but yeah as you can see Graphically, it does look pretty damn good, and I think it is definitely what I'll be keeping my eye on in the future. If you guys want to check this out, like I said, all you need to do is uh, go to the link below and go to the Kickstarter page. If you think it's going to be worth it, definitely go and back it. Um, I'm not entirely sure of what they need to, to have their backing completed, but I for one would like to see this uh, being made properly. And uh, yeah...
Anyway, thank you so much for watching, boys and girls. Thank you again to PR Hound for sending this my way and let me know about it. And until next time, please don't forget to subscribe. Boo -boo.